everybody so today I'm gonna show you guys my new releases I'm gonna show you two weeks worth because I actually ran out of time to um, do a video for my new releases from last week um, but I'm gonna show you guys what I released last week first I released like so so many stickers um, it's like this huge um, huge stack and I am super excited, so let's get on into it. I did use some of the stickers, though. But anyways, let me get started on the quarter sheets since they were on the top. So, I released a lot of script words. A lot of different script words. And then I also released the little, like, circle, like, asterisk and um, heart dots. And I love these because they um, they work really, really well for like the way I plan whenever I make lists and do white space planning. This is super cute to put in your spread. Um, so I just really like that. And also you can choose which color background that you want. So currently I carry four different kinds um, of background color. I do pink, um, this like beige nude color, um, gray, and also just a plain white. So yeah, um, and then you can um, choose which foil color you want, so possibilities are endless. Um, it just really depends on what color, which color you might like use a little bit more in your spreads or um, stuff like that. I personally really like the beige um, sheet um, the most for me, but I also really love the pink. It's really pretty. So I released um, the words, um, this sheet has workout and gym day on it. And then I released meeting and appointment. I kind of wanted to go with names that were like similar. Um, and then you have notes and important. And then I did a this week and a next week, which I really like these because you can use these in place of like the regular headers in your sidebar section. Um, and then I did work and day off. I really like these. And then reminder and remember. So there you go. And then to do and today. So yeah, I feel like I'm going to use to do in today um, the most out of everything though. So yeah, those are all the, those are like the little script words that I released along with the um, dots and I am just going to love pulling them into my spreads. And then I did release more day covers. Um, I think I just organized them in different slots, but these are like the lace day cover-ups where they kind of look like a half circle half moon shape and I released them in my one of my popular two of my popular colorways which is candy and pop um, candy is definitely by far like one of the most popular um, I personally really like it too it's blues and purples and this is pinks and grays um, so yeah Super, super duper cute, and I haven't seen anything on the market for like um, these kind of shaped day cover ups and also in lace, so that's why I wanted to go with this. And then I released a lot of quarter um, labels. I was missing quarter labels in my life whenever I was planning. Honestly, I always felt like I need. I would just want like a quarter box or something like that. That's something that's foiled, but not a, something bigger like a half box. So I wanted to release like a lot of different designs um, for quarter labels. So this is what I came up with. And then I released them in multicolor. Um, so you get a whole bunch of like darker sheets, a whole bunch of pastels, and a lot of nudes at the bottom. So it really suits like everybody, in my opinion. So, first I came out with these little, um, like, dotted kind of quarter labels. It's just like one dot going across. So, I love, love, love these. And then, these are just normal, like, quarter labels where the inside is outlined um, in foil. So, super shiny. 
And then these are um, boxes where you get a foil flag on the left um, corner. Another great way to add in more foil into your spread. And then this is probably one of my favorites because um, you can kind of put an icon right um, here. And I just really like these a lot. Um, they're just kind of like page flag looking appointment labels. So super shiny. These are just probably like my favorites and they're going to be like my most used honestly. I love them. And then I released my September kit. So as always in my monthly kits you get the dots and then you also get the days of the week. So you can kind of put it in where you want it to. Um, this way if you want a uh, your month to start out from Sunday to Monday or Monday to Sunday you can switch it around because you can put the stickers on wherever you want and you can also change all the days that you want so it really depends on what you like and I did change the format of my monthly kits so I changed them to be a little bit more functional so I feel like you know that sometimes people needs and wants and like the market always changes and when I first started doing monthly kits people really really requested bigger paydays and bigger bill dues and then more people now requested smaller paydays. So it kind of flip-flopped and you know, I listened to what everybody wants. So first let me get started in showing you all the pages. So um, this sheet didn't really change because I give the same number of icons. This um, covers up um, one day um, of the months that isn't there, isn't part of September. And then this covers the September header and then the days of the ones that are not September. So, um, and then the September is rose gold foiled. Um, so pretty. And then um, this whole like clip art really takes after my um, monthly, my June mystery kit. I really like the, just the colors so much and I really felt like it worked for September. Um, so, this is the second header that goes on the other sheet. And then the font is supposed to be super scripty, and it says autumn paints in colors that summer has never seen. Super cute. And then these boxes go on the side where like the goals are, and then you get some washi, including these fun scallop washi. So this is the sheet that um, pretty much completely changed. Um, you get your headers, you get your um, bigger um, boxes for like bigger events, and then you get bill dues, and then you get 12 um, labels. Um, four of them actually I just put like a fun little um, icon on because I just thought it was really pretty. And then, oh, and you can also always like cover it up with a, just like a regular um, shaped icon, like a circle icon. And then you get these little mini flags at the bottom. So I hope you guys like this sheet um, better because I try to make it more functional. Okay, and then I went with um, a, give, I wanted to give you guys a sheet that was like all foiled because um, I wanted to bring in more foil to my monthly kit. So I put in more like the important holidays. I didn't feel like everybody celebrated like the smaller holidays. And if you do, you can leave it blank or just write it down with like an appointment label. So I just wanted to include the more like bigger holidays um, in my opinion. So you have Fall Begins, Labor Day, Patriot Day, and Grandparents Day. Uh, and I didn't really want, so I didn't really want to go like want to include stuff like, I don't know, the winter solstice or the moon or stuff like that because, I don't know, I wanted to have more space for like more things. So you get a foiled appointment label, foil flag label, and a dotted um, label. So super cute. And then you get these little tiny asterisk, asterisk dots and heart dots in foil which are um will really come in handy and then um this whole row is flags so you get three bow flags and three um tiered heart flags and then um you get six payday flag stickers that are foiled so 
yeah there you go and i really like the format of this better i do feel like it is more functional and then i also came out with a notes format that is a little bit different um so i did come out with the little um circles that you can put in the new Erin Conran and then the notes is foiled super cute and then these two sheets um, are a little bit different so you get like this um, long strip where you get all the days of the months so you can track something if you want and you get double the labels and then this is just one long strip you can use um, to put like the little headers in and you get eight headers um, it's hard to read them like they're very also they're like the really scripty kind of long headers so I'm just gonna read it you get wish list gratitude memories goals health work expenses and to do and then on the side you also get flags um, to put in the um, these little like boxes you can choose to use them or you can choose to use these whatever you want or you don't have to use headers um, So the flags say it's um, spending life home and events So yeah, this is like the new notes page um, It's definitely more on the minimal side because um, I feel like Usually whenever I see people who do notes pages people always put in like pictures and such like that so I didn't want to like have a ton included in a notes kit um, and also it is cheaper this way and I think it will have people be more like creative when they lay down like their photos or stuff like that um, I see people using like their notes pages to be more um, using them as more like memories okay and then the next thing that I released um, the final thing of this week's new releases, and then we're gonna get to, um, the next week, is this fall kit, and it is gold foiled. And, um, I just, uh, I'm so ready for fall, you guys. I just, uh, I can't. So, I put in a lot of these reddish, I really like the reddish brown colors in this kit. Like, I really love this color. Um, it's just one of my favorite, um, favorite shades for fall so these are the full boxes you get the um, quote that says hello fall um, the fall sort of umbrella so cute um, with the bow on it and then this box is a leaf with the spine of like the leaf um, in foil which is so cute and then this um, sticker is just like accented with um, foil like all the flowers are um, I love love this sheet as well. It's and then you get your bottom washi. The scallop is in this like reddish wood pattern um, Which I love and then the bottom washi is of course foiled And then you get the deco that is foiled super cute looks like that and the pattern headers are the red um, kind of like wood um, texture it's really really cute I really like the uh, pattern header and then yeah <clears throat> and then this is just like the whole variety sheet super cute and then this is the headers and little things lots of browns and reds and blush colors um, just love 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 how like muted it is after like so many summer kits I'm so ready for fall your half boxes and washi page and then these are your check boxes um, which I did in the pattern of like the um, what's it called um, the plaid kind of reminds me of like the Burberry plaid and yeah I just really really love this pattern um, I just had to put it in the backdrop for the check boxes that is it for last week's new releases and then we get on to this week and I did also come out with a lot more fall items so I can't wait to show you guys. Um, I'm going to show you the kit first. Um, this is a little bit different than the previous fall kit. It is in rose gold foil so I guess if you're trying to decide which kind of fall kit to get versus that one. Um, it you can kind of like pick and choose which foil color that you like the mo um the best. 
And this is called Sparkling Fall, um, because I have all the little, like, glitter accents in the kit. So, yeah, um, love these pumpkins. My favorite full box definitely has to be this box. I really, really like this trench coat. I don't know why, it's just so cute. And then the quote says, fall in love, and this whole box has... Um, these like fun like fall leaf patterns and this um, floral um, clip art is all foil accented in rose gold so super cute and then this box um, it says autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower so love 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 and then you get your um, day cover up scout washi and bottom washi the bottom washi though, it's so so foily and accented, I really like it. And then this is the pattern headers for this kit. Really really love this color, it's like a purpley, deep deep purple like reddish color which I really like. And then I, and then the foil accents for the deco is like out of this world. I love it so so much. Um. Honestly, it's so cool. And then um, you get all like these little variety things in the sheet. These are your um, headers and little things. There are some glitter in this kit. So I really like all the glitter in this kit. It's like a rose gold kind of glitter, which really goes well with the foil. Um, you get your half boxes and washi. And then your check boxes, which are this all this like glitter background, which... I love so I'm so 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 excited for this kit I can't wait to use it um it's so pretty and then I did release more fall kind of items I released these um day cover-ups and this is the autumn colorway so you get some red watercolor the um, like some kind of warm tone glitter um, and then you get some polka dotted um, shades and the polka dot glitter um, is the same as this color. And then you get the plaid pattern. Uh, and the, they are kind of like brush strokes, which are really cool. Um, so you can, you can choose whichever foil color that you like. So yeah, I love, love this. And I definitely want to do more like different date cover-ups and different seasonal um colorways i think i can definitely come out with more um day covers oh my gosh i want to come out with like a halloween day cover up colorway where it's going to be like black glitter and like orange kind of watercolor which is going to be so beautiful for october and halloween um so if you're somebody who's like really into that let me know because i personally am i'm getting so excited um, I think Halloween day colors are going to be bomb, but I definitely really like this for a lot of like my autumn kits. I think it will work very well. And then I released something so cute, I'm dying. So these are um, Kiss Cut like pumpkin day cover-ups. They are so cool. So I'm just going to show show you how they are Kiss Cut like that, and then it has all the days of the week on them. I mean, how freaking adorable are these? So I wanted to do two different types of like pumpkins. This is more like a neutral um, shade with like white and brown. So you can pretty much use it in like any fall spread because I feel like browns are in a lot of fall spreads. So you can go with anything. And then the orange one, you have to be kind of daring because it's very, very bright and orange. Um, which I personally really like. Um, I really love orange for fall. It's just one of my favorites. And yeah, I wanted to include two different versions. And it's just, uh, I mean, how adorable are these? I'm just dying over these. And I definitely want to make more. I definitely want to make something really cool for Halloween. I have an idea. You heard it here first. I have an idea to do like a haunted mansion kiss cut day cover up i might have that out maybe next week i mean how freaking cool does that sound like i would die and then for christmas i can have like a christmas tree cut out day cover up with like presents 
And then I released more like quarter sheets that I wanted to get into. Some more fall sheets as well. So first of all, I wanted to release this like mini workout sampler last week. I just forgot to print it out. So I just released them this week because I know a lot of people are really into fitness and working out. I asked my Facebook group if they want me to make like a fitness kind of sheet. And just so many people gave me a lot of ideas of like what they wanted. So I'm going to put that to work and make like a, like a half sheet like fitness sampler. Um, this is just like a mini basic one where you get script words. These are just like actual just normal headers but they're foiled. Um, so you can kind of put that in your sidebar maybe with like a weekly sidebar. That would be really cool. And then some very generic icons, which are like these dumbbells um, that you can just symbolize for any type of working out, in my opinion. So there you go. And then, okay, so let's, I'm like working backwards. So I also came out with ball countdowns. I definitely do want to come out with like generic countdowns as well. But I love fall so much that, come on, we had to come out with something that was specific to fall. So it says 31 days until fall, and then it says it's fall. So I can't wait to use these. This is going to be so, so awesome. I'm actually also going to do a countdown until my... Um, so I live in Las Vegas, and we have like a like haunted like theme thingy here um, in one of the hotels. Um, and they call it like Fright Dome. And is it? it is less than 13 weeks until they open. So I want to do a countdown for that. It's going to be really specific, so I'm going to make it for myself really. But I'm really excited. Can you guys tell how much I love fall and Halloween? Because like my energy levels are like spiked up. I'm telling you, I didn't really have too much coffee today. And then, um, oh, I'll show these first. And then these are um, fall countdowns but they're little mini pumpkins um, to the side. So these are super cute. They're really small, so you can kind of also use it in like your TN or your personal um, planner spread, obviously. And then they will fit really well in maybe like the bottom washi section of your Erin Connor. I think that would be really cute. So you can order it in all the different shades of foil. And... Um, and the countdown starts on day 23. I couldn't fit like all of the days, but I feel like 23 is still a pretty good number to start curling down from. Um, so, oh, so cute. And then last but not least, I really have been meaning to come out with like work labels for the longest time. Um, so here you go. I'm so excited for these because I feel like I can make very good use out of them. Um, I came out with the multicolor versions, which really like all the colors in here. I don't know, I keep staring at it because I'm so satisfied with like the gradient of different colors. Uh, I just really like it, so. And then you get lots of pinks as well. So, love that. Um, so yeah, these are just like little labels that you can use. You can use these to color block. Um, because you get so many different colors. And then I personally will probably be using more of these. Um, so you get three different colors in this. You get the nude, pink, and the gray. Um, so you can just use like one color for like a spread, you know. Um, and it does come with like six in one color. Because um, I feel like... Pretty much every normal person works about five days a week, so you can just use the extra one somewhere else. Or if you do work six days a week, you'll just use all the colors. Or you can pretty much, you can also alternate these colors as well, because they're so light that I feel like if you just use that and then that color, it just still looks really nice. So yeah, I really like that for like every day. And then I really like this also just for like color blocking. Um, all the, the different sections. So yeah, um, these work labels are seriously my favorite because, oh, look at that shine. Look at that shine. So amazing. Okay, now let's get on to the mock plan with me. I hope you guys are not sick of my 
strong energy right now of everything fall. Uh, I've already decided in my mind that it is fall already because I'm like just so excited. So, let's get on to the um, mock plan of me of using one of the fall kits. I don't know which kit I want to use. Okay, so I think I want to plan in my glam planner inserts. It's just been like a while since I have. I only did these two spreads in it so far. And I really, really liked how they came out. So I can't wait. I'm just going to go ahead and use the rose gold um, sparkling fall kit that I just released. I'm going to take out the sheets so that it is easier to plan with. And then I definitely want to pull in some day cover-ups. I think these and the rose gold will be really pretty. And I'm just going to see how which like how I like it and which one I really want to use. So, first of all, let's lay down my Let's go and lay down my day um my day. <laughs> my bottom washi. So, I really, really like the Glam Planner inserts because there's like really um, nice enough like room at the bottom to put down your bottom washi. And then the spacing for um, the shortest sticker is the same on this side. So all you need to do is just take your scissor and then cut all the way to where this sort of ends and then you'll have a perfectly um, size sticker to put on the other side so yeah I really like that about these inserts versus the planner sophisticate ones um, where the bottom washi I kind of have to play around with it a little bit more the, um, the downside is that <clears throat> The downside is that um, these inserts, the Saturday and Sunday only is like one one box where the planner sophisticate ones are actually, um, you get one label, you get like one um, vertical length for each of the days and you get a flap so you get more room which I also really like so. It just all depends on your personal preferences, so uh, the bottom washi, it's so pretty. I'm getting so pumped. Okay, next, oh, and I really do want to use the pattern headers. I mean, how beautiful are these? I think I'm going to do it. So, yeah, let's use the pattern headers with the glitter checkboxes. I think that will be really pretty. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing better and I'm just putting my headers right in the middle of um, the foil making the foil really shine through it's so pretty I swear like oh to be honest uh, whenever I think of like summer I think more of like gold foil and then when I think of fall, I think more rose gold. And then when I think of winter, I think more silver. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. That's just like what I've always personally like came on my head. So I can't wait to do more like rose gold um, kits with like fall colors. It's just going to be beautiful, you guys. Like I just... I'm a total fall junkie. I just can't wait. And these um, headers are so pretty, so pretty. And I really, really think it complements the rose gold a lot. And then I'm gonna just go and get my check boxes. Um, you can use checklists as well, but I don't know, I really do like the glitter in this. A pretty good way for getting the box inside the foil so you can kind of still see that foil peeking through so pretty just 
just put it down on a corner and then line it all the way up and then it should be perfect. So today is sort of my day off, sort of. Um, I still have a lot to do. I worked like around 11 hours yesterday and I still didn't get what I wanted to get done. So I need to work on it today. And then tomorrow I might or might not have an employee coming in. Um, I might not because I'm honestly really tired. <laughs> Um, and then maybe I won't put, I think I'm going to hold off on putting the check boxes down on Saturday and Sunday. We'll just kind of see. Um, and maybe I'll just cut down like checklist for that section or do like a half, half check box, um, to get more room or something like that. But this is what everything looks like so far and I really like it. And then... The next thing that I want to do, let's go and mock plan next week. Um, it's going to be a little bit funny because it's not going to be. Um, I'm doing like more like summary activities. Oh, and I want to put these scallops down. I'm going to put them down. Just on top of the bottom washi. And then I have to trim it again for the longer piece. So I'm just going to go one up and then trim it so that it will perfectly fit this section. I usually put the scallop washi on the top, kind of like a border, but there's not really much room at the top. So I'm just going to put it at the bottom. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> okay, now let's go and put down our full boxes. I feel like sometimes I waste my headers because I don't really use all of them all the time. But I am... Um, I actually do give away my, um, what's it called? Stickers, um, I've been giving them away on Facebook, so I, I guess I can do a giveaway on here. Um, leave a comment down below what you love about ball, and I'll pick a winner on, um, Actually, I might pick more than one winner to give away just some like leftover stickers that sometimes like when I use um, these stickers in like plan of me's, I don't like use all of the headers and I don't really use like the kit over again. So it's nice to just give it away, to be honest. Okay, so that's done. And then let's go on to... I've also been working out a lot more. I want to use some of like my workout stickers. Um, I think that will be a lot of fun to kind of pull in. So I think I'm just going to put it in the checkbox little area. So I've been trying to work out on Mondays. So I'm going to put that down there just so I have more room in this section. I don't want to put it um, here and lose that room. And then I'm going to work out pretty much like every other day. Um, except Fridays I don't work out because that's my busiest day. Trying to get a lot of orders done. So I'm just going to work out Thursday. And then let's try and work out mm, one more day. Probably a Sunday. So I'm just going to go and maybe put that down to the side because there's no checkbox on Sunday so got my workout stickers in and then I'm going to oh I want to use this weekend banner but I can't because they're not next to each other it's really cute though um 
Okay, and then Friday, so I'm just gonna jump around and start planning. So Fridays are my new releases. I'm just gonna go in with this sticker. Mm, or this one. Kind of leaning towards that one. And I'm just going to apply it with enough room where the foil kind of shows. Um, as you can see. Okay, so I marked that down for new, release, new releases. And then I'm going to go in with... And then Sunday, I always do plan out my, um, my week, so... And then Saturdays are like kind of my day offs. So I'm just going to go in and... Oh, I want to put down this typewriter. It's really pretty. I'm just going to use this like purse deco. Kind of reminds me of, of like finishing orders because I put all my orders in my shipping um, tote and this kind of looks like a really big bag so that's where my orders will go in hypothetically. So that's finished orders. I have to use a lot of the deco in this kit. It's just too cute not to use to be honest. So Friday is done. Thursday is uh, my boyfriend's day off. So we like to do something together, and um, I'm gonna go in with... So I can't seem to find my day off sticker in rose gold, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the gold. Um, I don't really mind mixing in foil when I can't really find another foil shade. And that just says day off for my... It's my day off for my boyfriend, so I'm just going to decorate that little section with some flowers. Super cute. Um, Thursday, my friend and I are getting together. Sometimes my boyfriend and I double date with this couple that we really like. And we want to go to Home Goods. Um, I'm just going to put down the this like little rain boot. This fall boot sticker. Um, because I don't really have anything else that really symbolizes home goods, except for maybe this icon, but I don't know, I really like... Maybe I can layer it like that? Something like that. Okay, so, and then... some. Sorry if I, I, I do tend to work backwards because um, I, sometimes I just prefer that to, for some reason. So Wednesday, Wednesday. I'm going to put down this little circle to go to the post office. I'm going to get um, just this sticker to note to go to the post office. And then down below, I want to go and play with some of my new labels. Aren't they so cute? So I want to use... So I need to do the laundry. I'm going to put that off to the side. And then in this little label, I want to put down... Let's see... One of my really good friends is coming to visit me actually in a few weeks, so I'm really excited. Um, I don't. I think this is the first time that she and I are gonna like hang out together, just us with like enough time really to really see, to kind of show her Las Vegas in a way. And I'm really excited. I want to show her, um, like some of the museums we have here. I know that when people think of Las Vegas, they think of just the strip and gambling, but there's honestly a lot to do here other than just gambling and stuff like that. Um, we have like a lot of like museums, we have like animal kind of 
like stuff like we have an aquarium um we have several like sort of like aquarium and zoo type of places which i personally really love so i can't wait to go to that um with my friend and oh i want to use this clipboard it's so cute seriously maybe i will use that here <gasps> no wait let's use that here i'm gonna put that straight in the middle that's really cute and I really want to take my friend to the Mop Museum. It's like one of my favorite places to go in Las Vegas because there's so much history there. It used to be an old like courtroom where they actually had the like the court proceedings for the mob for like um, I don't even remember their names. I've been to the museum such a long time ago, but um, that's like where like the actual mobsters sat in, and then you can go to the courtroom and sit in there and it's just so cool if you're somebody who really likes kind of like history stuff like that you would like it um i kind of want to do more like <sighs> i think it'd be fun to kind of like vlog a little bit of um places that i go to in las vegas other than just the strip because i feel like there's so much fun things to do here that not like a lot of people know about uh, I think sometimes even more just like locals know about so if you're like planning a trip to Las Vegas it might be fun for me to kind of like show you guys more options and such um, so I'm done kind of like mock filling out this this spread of like what I think my week will be like so it's kind of like a mock spread with real plans um, and then we were going to go to a drive-in movie theater, which I've never been to. And I'm really excited for it because I can bring my dog. <laughs> she can just like sit or sleep in my lap and it'd be really cute. So I'm excited for that. And then also, I um, need to do my nails. And then I kind of want to figure out which day cover-ups I want to use now. I really love both. Okay, I'm really, really digging the plaid for some reason, so let's just go in with the plaid. You don't have to use day cover-ups in um, Elle's inserts because the days of the week are actually foiled, but I mean, I love my day cover-ups, so I'm just going to go in and use these. Oh my gosh, I think that really completed my spread. That's so pretty. And so yeah, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you're interested in just like winning leftovers from me. Um, just leave a comment down below um, answering like what your favorite thing it, it, what your favorite thing about fall is. Like, what do you do for fall every year? Like, do you have any traditions? Because I would love, love, love to hear about those. Maybe I'll, uh, I will. Maybe I will adopt some practices or traditions that you guys have because my boyfriend and I don't really have any. We just started living together. It's actually been one full year since we've been in this house. Cause it, since we moved here in like July of last year. And we're also just like kind of waiting to do to invite anybody or um, like do anything really decorative with the house until we buy a house of our own next year so we don't have any traditions like fun traditions yet but let but anyways this is what the spread looks like I'm just gonna hold it up isn't it so so foily so rose gold foily I'm really really happy with this and then I'm going to just put it into my um my planner um my happiness planner matches better because it has rose gold hardware but it's like it's a magnetic closure and it doesn't close because i like to be really decorative up front and it's not like closing so i just moved into my kiki k which i still and i still think it looks really pretty in this isn't it oh my gosh i love this spread so so much and i really love this kit 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my new release video and my plan with me. I hope you enjoy all like the new fall kits that I'm coming out with and let me know if you guys have any requests and thank you guys so much. <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Bye guys!